Hello, everyone. When we think of equity, it's important that it be applied to all facets of our community. Our cultural assets are no different, and as we wrap up our arts and culture grant cycle, it's exciting to see the wide range of programs and initiatives that will bring together a diverse group of residents throughout the entire community. Grantees this quarter include Genesis Experience Theater, which will receive an arts and culture grant for an all-ages theater educational program that covers storytelling, acting, writing, and light and sound design. The program, which also focuses on mental wellness, reaches residents who may otherwise not have access to these resources. We believe that uh, theater should be offered um, to all people. Uh, we believe in cultivating a diverse environment and um, reaching out into underserved areas uh, in the community. We have an after-school program in the Akron Public School System, uh, which has really touched some lives of young people who may not have had exposure to theater. The Center for Applied Theater and Active Culture will receive an arts and culture grant to support its group of resident theater companies, including Gum Dip and Chameleon Theater. The Theater Collective represents a cultural range of voices from several different communities. The theater is traditionally not necessarily an accessible art form, so I think being able to um, have funding to support bridging that gap and providing uh, diverse forms of, of theater, right? Like we have an LGBTQ theater company, we have a multilingual theater company, we have a site-specific theater company, right? We have so many, we have an African-American theater company, we have so many different options for people, um, and it's within walking distance in the neighborhood. Um, so being able to have funding to kind of continue to build community in the neighborhood and diversify audience, um, I think is gonna be really important. Also this quarter, Arts Now will receive a $75,000 proactive grant, which will enable the nonprofit to deploy grants to arts organizations in the community whose programs address one of the 10 public priorities of the Akron Cultural Plan. In all, nearly $3 million in total grants were approved by our board of directors this quarter. And speaking of grants, we recently updated our community fund grant application to ensure that our process was equitable and accessible to all of our community's nonprofits. The changes made to our application process incorporated direct feedback from nonprofit board and staff leaders, making it easier to use with streamlined budget information and the ability to more easily share their success stories with us. The new grant application can be accessed through our online portal. To accompany our arts and culture cycle, ACF hosted a community issue session at the Akron Civic Theater's New Night Stage, which featured information about the Akron Arts Initiative, led by the University of Akron, with aims to enhance the arts on campus and throughout Greater Akron. Our spring issue of The Signal Magazine is now available featuring an article about ACF's partnership with the Akron Public Schools and the middle school transformation to the College and Career Academies model, along with new funds established scholarship awards, a financial snapshot, and a list of our nearly 800 fun relationships. Visit the publication page of our website for a digital issue. The Center for Family Philanthropy recently celebrated the graduation of its second class of the Institute for Emerging Philanthropists. The class, which learns about the many aspects of philanthropy, ended its year of programming by giving back to the community through six grants, totaling $45,000. On July 12th, we'll once again host our annual meeting in person as we look forward to welcoming our board members, partners, volunteers, and others at the Hilton Akron Fairlawn. Look for details in our social media and e-news communications. Finally, and lastly, we're excited to announce that our next Bert A. Polsky Humanitarian Award recipients, Steve and Janine Marks, who will be honored at a dinner in October, our first in-person Polsky event since 2019. That's all for now, everybody. Thanks for watching.